Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Liz Katz, and today we have to go to work at the convenience store because we are essential employees at this essential establishment. It's time. We need to get ready for work. Okay. Oh, uh, you slept well. Oh, look at this thing. Oh, it's so cute. Well, we live in one room, I guess. Our TV is archaic. Here we go. A second kitchen? Gotta bring a flashlight. Yes. Yes. Alright. I can see. A toilet. No water. We live here? Need something? Change and grab a flashlight for you. Oh my gosh. Okay. We were by the food before. Why didn't you say something then? All right, so I need to eat, get changed, and grab a flashlight. So here's our, our uniform. Okay, we look lovely now. We gotta eat some, some yums. Uh, no, got my nums. There we go. Stick in the microwave, warm you up. Hey, right, close that for What are we, animals? Not animals, don't say that little little mouse guy. There. Yes, we've done everything. Now we can head to work. Hmm. Weird of the neighborhood. How do we get down there? What is this terraced city? Okay, we're making progress. Heading to work. Is that the way to my job? I'm just chatting. The way, to, the way to the convenience store is very inconvenient. Sweet, sweet convenience. Alright. Hello, I'm here. Oh god, you made ah there's like a real face on that guy. Hmm. Oh no, just that I recently heard someone had fell off the bridge you just crossed. It was an old lady that said that she wasn't said she saw a man walking down the street with his legs completely bent the other way. Scary stuff. If only this was a true story. Ha ha ha. Ha. Sorry. Okay, um, Wow, we, we only carry one type of snack, but we have every flavor of it. Austin Lee magazine, that, that I assume that's some K-pop thing. ITM. No, we're not leaving yet, door. Go away. Okay, uh, what do you want me to do? Sorry, but what are you waiting for? Punch in. Enter, oh. All right, punching in. Yes. Achoo! Let's, uh, let's check out our camera. Okay, that's the other guy leaving. Oh, car driving up. Oh, is it coming this way? <gasps> Do we have a customer? Look at, look at, we have a customer. Yes, 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 yes. I am here. Work it. Yo, your face is not working for me. Sir? Sir, could, could you? Hurry up a bit, please. Approximately 10 hours later. Okay, so yes, I will check out your purchase. Looks like it's checking me out. 
Ooh, his face follows me everywhere I go. There it goes. What's this I'm holding? How? How do I check out? What do I do? Stop looking at me! Yes, so there, yes, sir, sir. Sir, what is wrong with your eyes, brows? Sir, check that, put your stuff on the counter. Sir, put your stuff onto the counter. Have this, maybe I drop it here? No, that didn't work. What is this thing? Oh, this, I guess this is a price scanner. So I, oh, I was just supposed to scan the barcode. I'm a great convenience store employee. Let's watch him go. Let's watch him leave on our, on our cameras. Click on them now. So evidently we are supposed to take the expired food off the shelf because apparently it'll expire by our shift. That shelf looks fine. Some are expired there. Look at us, we're doing our job. Yes, yes, I'm gonna remove all that. Hello? help you? Okay, the door is broken. Get rid of this food for- Where am I supposed to put this? The dumpsters? Yep, let's get rid of that. Okay, back to work. That shop looks fine. Ah, can I take more off? Not a waste. I think I did it, boss. Oh, who's in here now? Oh, we have a package. It's in the middle of the night. It's a midnight package. Um, hi. Can I, can I help you? Kind of late for a delivery man at this time, huh? We've recently incorporated this system exclusively for convenience stores that are open late at night. Looks like this package is directly shipped to the store. Oh, and the name matches your tag. I think it's for you. Receive? No, I don't want that package. No. Receive? No, I don't want it. Stop following me! Fine, fine. I'll take it. Take the package. Take it home. No, why would we? We're still working. What, we're just gonna take take off with a package. Fine. Take it home. Okay. I don't, I don't like where you just turn on. Um, watch close. Well, why don't we just watch from far away? But okay, well, watch very close. You know, those amateur films are getting really bizarre. 
Oh, I guess we're on the next day, night, next night. Well, we're out of food. God, our house is weird. We'll take the flashlight again. Is this fridge always here? First night. Oh, that wasn't our first night. Back to work. It is darker tonight than the other night. That's I am certain of. Wait, it's going in circles? Where? Where am I going? Street lights. Was this the bridge? I want to go by it. Yes! Yes! Yes, I found my way to work! Hello again! Hey! So I heard you reported that the doors would open on their own? We did. We did notice that, yes. Well, we got a guy to check the sensor and it seems like the wirings were loose. Oh, you thought it was some sort of poltergeist? I see those on TV all the time, but they're all scripted. Ghosts aren't real after all. While you're still here, I'm gonna go and investigate outside. Oh, dead. Oh, light my Hi, little guy. Hi, Hi buddy. Hello. Hi, buddy. What's in this? Yes, it would be on the other side of this, would have been that creepy video. Raddies, what happened? Oh, they are brave. Now you're acknowledging me. Close this door. Found it in. I saw some rats behind the store yesterday. Someone must have left the garbage bin open. First person to see this note has to get rid of the rodents ASAP. He ran a joke. He didn't see it first. He. Damn it. What is that? Oh, an old lady. Okay. Handle the old lady. Then we'll deal with the rats in the garbage. No lady, but okay. Oh. Evening, ma'am. Um, did you just go to the door? Okay. What's she doing? Well, she's gonna take a while, so I guess uh, we'll go and see if she needs any help. Like the good convenience store employee as we are, and then we'll go outside to ma'am. Ma'am. Okay. Can we help you? Um. Did you literally come here just to use the bathroom? Bitch, you gotta buy an item if you're gonna use the bathroom. Oh, I can't believe this. Fine. Aha. Uh -huh. Sorry, that's. I feel terrible. I used to have pet rats and. Hey, I'm in a hurry. Now could you please fetch me five cans of beer and a pack of cigar? Hurry up. Okay. Ah, 
this is it. Oh, I gotta run for each one? Why can't... No. That's ridiculous. Two! Ho, ho, ho. Three! Ho, ho, ho. No door. We're not going that way. Five! Why didn't you just get a six pack? Alright, cigars I imagine would be behind the counter. Yes. Oh, the old lady's out. Hello, ma'am. Yeah. Yeah, that's just sitting there. Ma'am. Let's drop this. Ma'am. Hug. Huh? Where's Cancun? You know where Cancun is? I thought I heard his voice. This was my daughter's house. What did you do? How dare you? What? Yeah. Ma'am, I... Ah, I'm just supposed to get the rest. Where is she going? Where'd she even come from? Back to the task at hand. This damn rock. What? The music got weird. Job, it sucks, but you know, gotta make that money. Yeah, need some dough, and this is my song and dance. Cha la la in my heart. Tito. I can't even read what's on there. Oh, there you are. Ah! Things were hiding. Oh, I, gotta, I gotta look better. The sneaky rats. Oh, devious little devils. One more. Oh, there's one more. How did I not see those other ones? So like, Wait, what? You were there the whole time? There's no way he was there the whole We looked in that corner. Yesterday. Good to see you again. Oh, you know the unstoppable trend on ordering everything online? Anyway, there seems to be a package that needs to be picked up there, here. Huh? What? What? Your package? Yes. Bye! I love working the night shift. Clock, you must be broken. Doo -doo, waiting for something to happen on the night, night, night shift. Da, 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 da. <sighs> I was just like maybe pick up the garbage. That would make sense to me. Okay, let's go try. Let's go at least try to pick up the garbage. I guess our that night's over. Ah, we're back home again. We apparently will never eat those chips. I want them so bad. Yes. I'll take the umbrella. 
Yes. What? I imagine it was downstairs. Why would I open that door? Hello? Okay. We got another package in the middle of the night. Um. And we have an umbrella open inside the house! And it's wet on the inside of it! What the heck's going on? I don't know how umbrellas work. Okay, so. Let's see, uh, let's see this one. Okay. Well, I'm not piecing the other story from this yet. These video tapes are a bit vague. Um, Squeep, you stay here and guard the chip. All right, close. So it doesn't get all wet out there, please. Close door. Close. Whatever. Oh, it's not the toilet. Why well, would I check the toilet as my first place to check? Oh, hello, full-grown dog deploy. Are you in the toilet? Oh my god. Boo! I got you good, huh? Okay, okay. Fine, I'll stop. Promise I won't do it again. That's the exact thing someone who will do it again would say. I hate you. What? Someone's been sending you VHS tapes? That sounds like a perfect idea for a horror flick. Hmm. It's probably just a prank. I doubt it's anything. I mean, come on, it's just a video. What kind of grocery store is that as a motto? Yeah, 7 Eleven. Always keep the shelves full. So please just talk to them by tomorrow morning. Your manager. Dude's leaving. Creepy footstep. What? Something just crawled that way. Well, I quit. Lovely working here, but I quit. Okay, we have to restock the shelves. Can I not restock? It looked like it needed restocking. Yes. Yay, we're helping. Why is the music just looping? Okay, um. What is that noise? Uh. Um. We're locked in. <gasps> Somebody's in the store. No, we're locked in. Okay, we're gonna see through this. Okay, okay. I'm trying to see. I don't see. I don't see much though. Uh, uh. <gasps> uh, excuse me, sir or madam. help you okay I'm Hamada so there's something wrong with the air conditioning your boss seemed desperate in keeping the food fresh I hate to be working this late but he pays me well you know don't mind me I'll just quickly check the outside units and head right out sir sir it's haunted out there I sir I 
there anything else we need to restock? Oh yeah. Here. All right. Yes, sir. Sir. Uh. Well, since you're here, I guess I'll. I'll look. Back here. One just goes through doors, huh? Sir. <sighs> Hello, ma'am. Have, have a good night. Hey, are you the only one working here? I can't believe this. What kind of a manager puts a girl on a midnight shift alone? I see you have no choice. Well, at the very least, I'll give you my protection charm. Now be careful. We'll take all the protection we can get. You don't use protection. That's how you get convenience store babies. Let's go make sure. We'll pick up our, our, our wrench. Because it makes us feel safe even though we can't do anything with it. Why are we facing the, the, the toilet? That, really? Now we're locked in here! It's a haunted toilet! Hello? Manager? Manager? The toilet? The toilet's angry. Hear that fall. Sounds like someone's in the hell's in this door? Oh my god! Very tall, angry ghost on her hand. Very tall. Tall enough to reach these cameras. This is uh where we quit. Allison's. Uh, creepy house back here. Would you like a talisman? Straight from a creepy ghost lady. Exercise the door. Yes! There you go! We know how to do this, apparently. We are good to go. Okay. Um, I, I guess our work here is done. The door has been exercised. and that, Oh, these are all back. Okay. I'm cleaning up this aisle a little faster. Huh? Open AC? Yes. I, why are we opening the AC? Key. A key to. Oh no. Ah! We don't want to go in that house. Spooky. Dear. Um. Manager. Four. Uh oh. Oh dear. Hello. Um. One minute, 
I'm indecent. I got the window. I just find it. Oh! And the shirt's face is moving. Maybe it was all a dream. Please, this is for you. This is your tape. I don't want to play it anymore. I don't want to watch the tapes anymore. Just tape so haunted. What a nightmare. Was it all a dream? Girl, you know that was not a dream. There's a glowy store. I'm pretty sure our manager is dead. Let's see if we uh, have a note still from our manager. Huh. No note. No place to punch in. Well, crap. Well, maybe we can take a drinking or something. Make this a little more bearable. Oh dear. That's, um, the ramen stays, everything else is gone. Goodness, I... Uh... Okay. Well... Oh my. May we help you? We always keep our stock, <laughs> our shelf stock. That's our, that's our motto. Just walking around. Oh boy. Oh, just shopping. Anyone else? Uh, those are TVs. What? The shelves are now full of TVs. That's bizarre. Sir, may interest you in a TV, which we now sell for your convenience. And, oh my, it's rather foggy in here. on. What? What? Come watch TV. What? Here comes the TV. What am I not doing? Okay. Well, this one doesn't make noise, but that one does. Yeah. Perhaps he is telling us where to go. What? Okay. 
Or he's looking at what? That TV up there. Okay. What is that looking at? down there okay so I think we have an idea now of what we're doing what are we doing wrong we figured out your puzzle at the oh did we not no that we opened that okay huh. and this one looking at this one, but this one doesn't do that. Something's happening. Still in the back room. Everything's back to normal. Hello. Oh, not the door again. Well, don't let the door hit you on the way out, ghost lady. What? Why would we still be picking up VHS tapes at this point? We know there's something with them. Taking them home. Oh, oh, trash. Take you. Do we throw it away? Do we stick it? What's this? Okay, so we have some choices. We could watch it. I imagine we could mail it. Could throw it away. Now, my ghostly experience. We must give it to someone else. Yes. Squeeps, I think we made the right choice here. Have the bag of potato chips and we'll, we'll say we're sorry. I was sickened by the whole situation. I sealed the VH VHS tape carefully and decided to send it off to the sender. Fortunately, the sender's address was on the box. When I was done preparing to send it off, I felt my tense shoulders relax. Why would you send it to the sender? I sent it to someone new. Too much had happened in a short span. My mind couldn't keep up. I knew I had to rest, but I couldn't fall asleep. Everything about the store terrified me. Inevitably, I had to sit down on a chair to clear up my head. What did I see? Was everything I witnessed even real? Although I was scared, I knew I had to know the truth. I wanted to know what had happened and why. So I turned to the internet about the store. I found a few old articles and forums talking about the location and where the building was made. One comment on a strange forum stood out to me. It said, there seemed to have been gruesome killings at the property. I searched for the same user's comments in 2009. There was a case where a man who was ma the mainstay of the family committed a murder-suicide. I determined to investigate the incident further. Now we're investigators? We went from just being store clerk to investigator? September 14th, the man killed his child with a kitchen knife while his wife was off at the grocery shopping to a local supermarket. When the wife came back, it said that she was killed in an extreme way. He then hung himself in the same day. They say that the woman was pregnant at the time of her death. The woman was killed with several nails punctured into her, along with her child in her stomach. Wow, they like really just give your whole description of everything here. I wanted to throw out from the obscene images, but I knew I had to continue. We don't get to see the images? 
There was a guy that replied to the comments and said that he worked at the same place as him. According to him, the man was often harassed by his boss at work. He had complained to several colleagues. And on that day in the incident, it is said that he had an emotionless face, imagining what the family had gone through. Depression and hatred occupied my head. It was very painful. With tears in my eyes, I closed the internet gently and called the manager to talk about everything I experienced during the night shift and what I had discovered. However, the calls were never picked up. He's dead. We saw him. It was the same over and over again. Then I received a phone call from Mr. Hosu, a franchise leader who I had never met. I had a bad feeling about it. Then with a shivering voice, he said, the manager is dead. I couldn't breathe, so it wasn't a dream. And when I asked about the place where he was found, Mr. Hosu said that it was an old storage behind the convenience store, and he was found there after a day of his death. I dropped my phone. I quit my part-time job with a broken feeling. After quitting, I would avoid going near the convenience store whenever I could. Because every time I passed in front of the store, I would always feel a sharp stare towards me, and I wouldn't be able to help but to try and pass as quickly as possible, so as to not to look at the building. A day later, the store had closed down. The reason seems to be due to poor management, but further details were not publicized. At that point, I didn't have the means or the courage to examine it anymore. Oh my god, this is a long written ending. <laughs> After a while, the memories of the convenience store started to haze down a bit. One day, as I passed by the now closed down store, I heard a child's voice. There I saw the woman. When I looked in my hand, I had picked up one of those rusted nails that had fallen in the middle of the site. more to this ending, right? What? That's the end. That's the ending? You can't write an ending. You don't turn from a game to a book ending. Okay. So, we survived, obviously, by mailing off the tape. I honestly, that was way scarier than I thought it was going to be. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe because I really appreciate it. You guys rock and I'll see you next time.